Yate Mitaki Yopi! Welcome back to our channel. It is me, Lakota Bay. And today I'm going to be making some fry bread for you all. I'm making chili for dinner and I wanted fry bread with it. So today I'll be um, going through how I make my fry bread that I learned from my mom. And luckily she's here so she can help me out if I need it. But I made it a few times and I think I'm almost perfected it. So let's get started. Oh. The first thing that I'm going to do is activate the yeast. So this is a quick rise yeast here. Pour it in this bowl. Put like a teaspoon of sugar. And uh, half a cup of warm water. And let that rise. Great. And then I'm going to mix the uh, dry ingredients. Am I still afraid? I'm going to mix the dry ingredients. So this one I'm going to make about four cups of flour. Probably make a lot of fry bread, but that's okay. One, I'm using bluebird flour, two, three, and four, give or take. And I'm going to use, this is an eighth sugar. I would just pour it. Four yeah. cups. Last time I used a fourth. Oh yeah, eight half of that. I, I would just put a couple tablespoons, but that's fine. That's probably a couple Grandma don't know. And then how much salt do you use? Just depends how much you like. Four cups. Like a teaspoon. Teaspoon? I don't do pork cups. I make mean, more. That's all right. Yeah. We're going to mix that around. Doing it the Navajo way with my hands. Like, I need a bigger bowl to make fried bread in. This is the biggest bowl I have. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where I was making faces that. <laughs> so the yeast is growing. We got the flour, made a hole in the center. I need a bigger bowl. And then I beat it an egg. And then I have more water I'm gonna add. And then just get this. And I have oil I'm gonna put in. So, here we go. I put the egg in. Put in about a fourth, a fourth cup, right, Mom? A fourth cup of oil, Mom? Yeah. And then some more water. So a half a cup. I need to get, I'm gonna get some more water to have on hand. Then I pour my wet ingredients in the middle here. And I'm gonna start mixing it. And then I have water in case we need more water. Flour, so I need more flour. Good, good baby center. Put the tummy to sleep. Oh, yeah. You got a little bit of water in the side? Oh, yeah. Is that warm? Yep. There. Yeah, I'm gonna stick your bites in over here. I'll just keep doing that until it starts sticking together. 
Oh, put on this thing. Oh, looks pretty good. I already got all the flour mixed in there. If you get it too more, too much water, you end up putting flour in it. Gotta be careful on that. But it looks good though. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like it's sticky, but not like too sticky. Too sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you want it sticky, but not too sticky. Not too sticky where you're. Yeah. Just keep kneading it and then let it rest for a half hour. And then you knead it again, and then maybe another hour, and it's ready to cook. Okay. It should double in size. Keep it in a warm place, cover it with the towel. And eat your dough. Not your <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, she said. So there it is. I'm gonna cover it, let it rise, and then knead it for a half hour. Tip in the warmer place, keep it in a warm place, it'll rise faster. And we want it to get double in size, Grandma said. So there it is. Come back with an update. So it's been about an hour since the dough's been rising. You can see it over the towel, under the towel. And yeah, it's gone pretty big, so I'm going to knead it again and let it rise. It's been an hour. It was only supposed to set it for 30 minutes, but the boy, I got caught up taking care of the boy. So, yep. So I got done kneading it a second time, and I'm going to cover it for another hour. Or we'll see. See how it goes. Hey, y'all. So my bread has risen a second time. I'll just pull it out. Ooh, look at that it's been about a little over an hour and um, I need some chili and we'll let that simmer for a while and I'm getting ready to I'm, gonna, I'm starting to heat up the oil now I'm just using vegetable oil and um, boys are napping right now daddy's still in his training Darwin so I'm gonna let my oil Heat up while I roll out my bread. I'll just do it right here on the counter. So I'm gonna knead this bread one more time. And get it ready. Put some flour here. Work area so it doesn't get stuck. With my rolling pin, my area. Get out a piece and just roll it out here. I made this bread for my in-laws. They all thought it was like uh, donuts because it was sweet. And they really liked it with the wojapi. I kind of want to make wojapi, but I don't think I have any of the ingredients. I'm gonna cut a little piece off of this one and it'll be my tester bread. Temperature. Oh yeah, looks like it's good. Pull out my tongs. Get nice and brown. I need a 
set up to put my bread in. So it looks like it's ready to flip. You can see the brown, the sides get all brown. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna start putting more, more in here. Oh, I forgot to make a hole. Donut hole in there. Usually Darwin helps me when I'm making bread. Helps me uh, fry. Cause I have limited time here. I'm making a lot of bread. It's only me and Darwin and the boys eating. <laughs> oh, I bet this one's done. There it is. Cute little piece. They're right there. So yeah. We'll come back with the taste test with Darwin. So here is all the fry bread done. This is how much the four cups made. And I kind of burnt some. You could see because I was trying to roll out the bread and uh, roll out the bread and um, fry at the same time. But I took a bite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I swear it gets better and better every time I make it. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to shred some kamachis hopefully by then darwin will be done and we'll eat dinner darwin's feeding the baby some chili and fry bread yeah. but i got us our bowls the fry bread kamachis I'm waiting for you to take a bite of them all right let, let the taste begin is this Ojibwe or Lakota style or Navajo? My style. <gasps> okay. Ready? Three, two, one, and action. All right. Take a test, taste All test right. of the fry bread. Let me know how it is. Here it is. The taste test. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? So sweet, watery, fluffy. Fluffy. That's probably the best I've made it, honestly. Damn, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Did you I made it with bluebird? Yep. Did you really? Yep. Damn, that tastes good. I'm gonna try with the beans, with chili beans with cheese in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. I must have to not vlog this because it feels so sacred right now. <laughs> it feels like a sacred moment. Damn, that tastes good. Mama has some good bread, huh, baby? I think that's my fried bread. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, so there you have it. That whole man approved. The whole pan to myself? <laughs> Thank I know, you. all this with bread yeah. and it's just us. <laughs> Thanks, baby. This is a good dinner before, yeah, you, before you leave tomorrow. Oh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you all for watching our channel. Let us know if you make the fry bread recipe. And um, yeah, let us know how it turns out. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next vlog. Pogonet, doksha.